Hey guys, it's Hack Tutorials, and today I'm going to show you how to get custom cold boots for your PS3. Uh, basically what that is, is like the little logo that uh, pops up when you turn it on. Um, here's an example. So, this is uh, a cold boot. A uh, regular PS3 just has PS3 written on it, a rebug has re a rebug written on it. And uh, so I'm going to show you how to get whatever one you want. In another video I'll show you how to make your own, but today I'm just going to show you some cool ones. So. Before I start, I'd like to give a shout out to Force Edits. He made me my channel art, which is really cool. So I, it's, I really like it. It's a lot better than my old one because I made that, and I'm not very good at uh, like Photoshop and stuff. So thanks for him. Go ahead and subscribe to him. He also makes very good speed art videos, like that. I really enjoy those. So yeah. Anyway, let's ca let's just carry on. Um, so I'm going to put the link of the website in the description that has all these cool cold boots. Um, I have it saved in my documents, so I'm just going to go there. And here it is. So there are quite a lot of them. This is not what they're going to look like. They're, they're just going to be, a, they're going to be transparent like the regular one. So uh, yeah, there's quite a lot of them. Okay, the one that I'm going to be using is the Xbox 360 one, because I think it's very ironic. Um, so yeah, if you want to download from this website, just click uh, click on this and it'll download. Um, actually, it'll take you to Mediafire first, much as a trusted site, um, and then download it. Then you'll get a... Um, you'll get a RAR file, just extract it. Basically, you'll just get this. So you ha you'll have three files. Uh, sometimes you might only get one file, just uh, coldboot.rap. But if you get these two other ones, then that means you've gotten the audio ones, which will give you the sound effect. So that means this Xbox 360 one has a sound effect too. And I've actually heard it and seen it. It's really cool. So um, basically here's how you do it. Um, I'm going to be using uh, fi uh, FileZilla for this, which I haven't done in a really long time. I usually use Multiman. But for some reason, uh, it was actually working for me recently, so uh, luckily I have the ability to use FileZilla now. So, so I'm just gonna open it up, <coughs> and uh, here FileZilla is open. Now go over to your PS3. Oh, sorry, yeah, I did this without you. Uh, just go into Rebug Toolbox. Um, not that difficult. Just click on Rebug Toolbox, and. Um, so this is pretty much like black box. It's a uh, it's like an FTP server thing. So click on system information and you'll get your IP. So it's 192.168.2.4. So just type it in host. Now you can click quick connect. So if everything goes well, you should get all these green and blue things and you should get uh this pop up. This to pop up. Uh it's pretty exciting for me because it's never works for me, but now it does. So I'll just go to dev underscore rebug. I'm going to repeat myself there. That's kind of quick. Dev underscore rebug right underneath HDD0. Scroll down to VSH. Then click on resource. And um, just click uh, letter C a few times until you get to coldboot.raf. Now um, I'm going to open up or get, get open that folder. Uh, with uh, the three files. So here they are. Just select all three of them and drag them into here. Okay, drag them in and it'll say overwrite. Click OK for all three of them. Okay, and you are done. Okay, that's that's how easy it is, really. Um, I could just close out of this. And now, if you go back to your PS3, you just click back. Now you want to go to Restart System and select Full On-Off Cycle. Now your PS3 will restart. You can just close out a FileZilla because it's not connected anymore. And make sure to listen closely so you can hear the noise it makes. So yeah, that was pretty cool actually. Um, it sounds exactly like the Xbox One. Maybe not. I don't know. I don't really have an Xbox, but that seems legit. If you know what I'm saying. So yeah, it looks really cool. It looks a lot more. Uh, sorry, it looks a lot better. 
was going to say a lot more better, but that's bad grammar. Um, so yeah, it looks a lot better than just the regular PS3 logo and the Rebug logo, because those are really plain. That one is pretty cool. But again, there are a lot of different options on that website. And another time, I'll show you how to make your own in Photoshop. Uh, that video will probably stink, because I don't uh, do very well in Photoshop. But yeah, uh, thanks for watching. If this video was helpful, please give it a like. And uh, also, give me a comment. Just tell me what you thought of it. Uh, so yeah, see you later.